Alright then everyone, so hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindful of Relic, Sab and Equip, top slot, all the way down to the bottom, one, two, three. Yeah, I definitely want the ribbon on Sabin this time around. <laughs> Learned my lesson from last time, I guess. One, two, three. Cause I didn't realize all the enemies around here use so many poison and petrify attacks stuff. It never really happened so much on my test run or my previous run. Which is why it's weird that it's just all cropped up all of a sudden. But with a ribbon on Sabin, most of that should be mitigated. Celeste might still die from poison or petrify, but as long as, long as Sabin's there to carry the day afterwards, I'm fine. I still want that black belt on Celeste because it can really wreck stuff and it makes everything go so much smoother because. Like, half the time, enemies attack, and they're attacking Celeste, so... So continue walking downwards. That battle was... smooth. Smooth as silk, really. There's no way... There's no way I was any danger at all from that. Celeste failed to kill whatever that was. Thankfully, in the double Bloompire, double lizard battle, uh, Celeste will target the lizards, so she'll be doing her job. Sabin will hopefully do his, and everyone will just have a grand old time, I guess. Yep, my party members are being fairly good at that murder thing today, so that's good to hear. All the way down to the bottom. Surprised I got two battles going down there, kind of. I don't usually, but that time I did, apparently. No big deal. Actually, it's often a good thing to get more battles because that tells me where I am. Well, at least until I get to the parts where I want to go and alternate between two directions because their battles are more likely to mess me up and cause me to take a misstep. Sometimes they can be fatal, sometimes they do absolutely nothing, so. But on the overworld, if I get off my beaten path here, there's not much of a chance of recovery. So, that's one of the irritating things about overworld travel. There's no noises anywhere. The only thing I can tell is from the battles, but... All I can tell is if I'm still doing the right thing or not, generally. Not how to fix it if I am doing something wrong. I'm not certain that Blitz went through properly. I feel like I messed up my uh, controller there, but... Which would be bad, because I actually need Seven's Blisses somewhat here. Nope, it worked out. Hopefully he hit a Bloom Pyre, that would be nice. Hopefully that hit Seven, that would be nice. Ah, it probably hit Celeste. What a pain. At least it'll catch Sabin up a little bit in terms of EXP, provided I don't die. Hopefully get the Bloom Pyre now. Ah, oh, I didn't kill anything with that turn. That's not good. At least when Celeste is petrified instead of dead, she'll be taking hits. You can't do anything with that now. <laughs> that... Glare's day is done at this point. It can go home and punch out of the clock and go play some Brave New World, I guess. Seven failed to kill anything again. It was just getting aimed at things that have decent HP. Good news is, they don't seem to be doing much damage, which means Sabin's probably at full HP right now. That won't do anything. Sabin's basically just built to wreck this battle when it comes up. Still one more enemy, probably. I feel like there's only one more enemy left on the screen. From the volume of attacks I'm getting, at least. But these lizards don't take... oops. Almost did the Return of the Dark Sorcerer. <laughs> or a bolt replacement combination. 
thing. This should take it, whatever, whatever's left. It's gotta be dead now. There we go. In fact, it mostly just sat there for a very long time. I think uh, Celeste probably got petrified before anything crazy happened, so... Uh... Oh yeah, right. I'm still in the relic menu. Equip skills item. There! Celeste is back and ready to go. Skills, Celeste, magic, cure... Let's just throw that out there, I guess. Let's try float too, just in case they removed. Oh, I would have heard that one. Except it was probably removed by the whole Celeste got petrified thing, so I'm glad I bothered to check it out. Let's continue going left. Making some distance. Those battles are definitely the biggest pain in the butt. Double Bloom Pyre, double Lizard. Well, there's definitely something flying in this counter, which is probably like a vulture or something, so this is gonna be a schmuck encounter. Ow, more pain! Okay, so something in this encounter has glare. It's weird. It does not compute. <laughs> something with glare and something getting thrown at. I'm not 100% sure what's happening here. And I likely won't for another few months until I upload the video. Unfortunately, I think Glare hits less again, which is just a super big pain in the butt. Actually, it's not that bad, because the battle was right next to being ended anyway. Oh, whoops, this is a uh, magic menu. Item. Why did I try to remedy Sap and he can't be afflicted with anything. Oh yeah, right, but I wanna... skills... This is Sabin, correct? Okay. Skills... slash magic, hopefully. Okay, yeah. There we go. Alright, now if I could have less of those encounters, please. Wow, I made it like a whole two steps after all that menuing and stuff. I made like two steps of progress. Anytime Celeste's counterattacks start coming into play hardcore, though, you know the battle's about to get shredded. Why do I keep hearing... Oh, I think I messed up Blitz input. Why do I keep hearing attacks on the left side of the screen that aren't Rising Sun? That's what I want to know. I should perhaps check that out because... There we go, Celeste ready to get in action. Anytime she double throws at something, it's just wiped. Unless it's a boss, but... Or from far much farther than the game, obviously. If I walk into Kefka's tower, I don't care if I'm double throwing at something, it's probably not dead. It's probably just gonna shrug that off and be like, Hey, you know what? Wave cannon! <laughs> Skills, less magic. I figure. Huh, I figure I don't need the healing at all, apparently. But the thing is, less is enough magic to make it through to Nikea, I'm sure of it. So, I don't need to be so cautious with using it. Because I'll just end up going into the Yen at South Figaro when I have to go get Edgar there anyway. It's definitely easier than doing it than Nikea, I'm almost certain of that. Alright, now I'm finally making it to the point where I can go up and left. This has been a long time already. I went up last, going left next. 
It's been a long time already because shenanigans have been happening and things haven't been going super duper well. Is that a poison? Poison is one of those things that can be hard to hear sometimes. Less, yes, counterattack. Free damage. Now hit something in front. S one thing is dead. Hopefully, Savin can take out something else. Hopefully, Glare hits Savin. Or this might be a while again. Yeah, I think. Oh, there we go, Sluss is still there. So Glare hit Sabin, or missed. Miss is always a relevant prospect. Sometimes I forget that things can miss because I'm just expecting them to hit, and then when it turns out they miss, it's just like, oh, that's a nice surprise. Sluss, magic, here. Alright, so I'm going left next. Definitely didn't hear any Gravaga sounding noises. Which. Oh, shoot. Definitely didn't hear any Gravaga sounding noises, which is the indication that I've lost my float. Unless someone got petrified, in which case, that's a pretty good indication that I lost my float. But yeah, I don't even think I've used half my MP so far. But I've got quite a distance to go still. I'm about halfway there, I'd say. But soon I'll reach the deserts. I w just went up and I'm going left next again. That sounds like a Bloompire hitter, in which case that counterattack is going to be about as useful as punching at my weapon unarmed. So, I'm the back row to boot. And I mean that almost literally, because depending on level, that's about how much damage that would be done. <laughs> Something died. Ah, snooze, you lose. It's not a very good one-liner there, I guess. I should save that for when something's actually asleep. Just watch, I'm gonna have like the perfect opportunity and... Either A, I won't realize it because I have the blindfold on, or B, I just won't remember to say that. Skills slash magic. What? Oh, wait. I was still in my item menu. Oh, well. So uh, I just needed something, so I can't complain. Skills slash magic cure. Didn't need much of that this time around, that's for sure. Left, up. I'm s probably most of the way through these left and ups. Hopefully I won't get another encounter before I hit the top left corner here. This top left corner here is a bit of a pain because they just... The overworld designers, they had to stick... They had to stick this stupid little crevice here and... Just have this long area jutting out from the side. Just perfect for me to walk into just to be a pain, but, you know, if I were designing an overworld map, I'm sure I'd be even douchier to the blindfolded players, because watch, if I ever tried to navigate my map from Return of the Dark Sorcerer, I'd bet it would be like, <laughs> oh well, trolled by this, trolled by that, just to, just for the sake of irony. But I'm definitely not planning on doing a blindfolded run and return of the Dark Sorcerer because it's the sort of game where you generally have to play almost perfectly, so there wouldn't be any room for the derpage that makes this run funny, you know? I think someone got hit with poison. Either that or I'd just end up leveling up a bunch, but that would be boring as well. So, Glare, did I get lucky again? I've been going 
50-50, I think, so far, so... Let's see which direction this turns on me. I think Celeste might have been hit with that glare. That's unfortunate. The poison spells themselves are kind of like old tier stuff at this point, so they're not gonna be super dangerous, I don't think, to Zabin on their own, but not with his 60 HP region. Oh wait, it uh, looks like Celeste was just stopped, and Glare missed her again, so yeah, now I'm definitely not just breaking even. Unless Celeste got poisoned, in which case it might almost be unlucky that she, that she took those glares without getting petrified. Because she's probably just going to die from the poison at that rate. Well then again, if she was stopped, she wasn't affected by the poison during that time, she might have a chance. I do not hear Celeste coming up. So yeah, she might have died after all. That's unfortunate. That's okay, Seven took care of it. Celeste is sort of like the Zerg Rush portion of my damage, and Seven's my character is actually built to survive. Kinda need them both, really, to do it properly. Or Celeste was just stopped again. Wow, I'm falling for the same trick twice in a row. That's like having someone say, hey look, someone wrote gullible in the ceiling, looking up, and then somebody going like, did you know gullible's the only word not in the dictionary? And then you go look in the dictionary, and somebody goes like, oh hey, you know what? Uh, your cat just said gullible, and you go over your cat and try to just like, go, hey, uh, kitty, C could you say gullible again? Because uh, if you can talk, I could probably sell you for a lot of money. And pretty much no one had taken damage from that battle. Somewhat surprisingly. Especially considering... S oh, uh, yikes. That's not gonna uh, inflict any seizure, though. Not with my life belts doing that. Doing the region thing, so... One enemy down. Piece of cake. Two enemies down. Piece of cake. Don't know if that's a counter-attack or regular attack. That enemy is not dead. Now it might be dead. Oh, well. Still nothing died. So I'm going up at this point. Still walking up. Gonna reach the Fanatix Tower soon. Which also means, unfortunately, that I'm going to be reaching the desert soon, which is where things start to get painful. S skills, less magic, cure. Uh, wow. Apparently people have taken damage in that fight. This Megavolts must have been doing a decent chunk. Make it up to the top. But I bet Sless and Sabin have gained a level each by now, so they're probably looking a little bit better than they were at the start of the run. Alright, reach the top probably. That one wasn't too long. Right, and up. I got killed last time just before the desert. The thing about the desert is I'm not always walking on it. I went up last so I have to go right next. I'm not always walking on the desert tiles so if there's a good chance that I could end up just realistically walking straight by all the desert tiles and never getting a battle on it. But I can't count on that, that's for sure. One thing is dead. But I have lost my float status, which isn't good. Another thing is dead. Seven probably or bolted a bloom pyre. Seven or bolting a blue pyre is great. Seven or bolting a lizard is kind of meh. Did Celeste get petrified again? Or was there some stop shenanigans going? At least I would have had to apply float anyway. 
you delay that battle with your animation 7. Get those region ticks going. Yes, Celeste was in fact just stop. And that thing's dead. Nice. Skills. Uh. Unless she was zombified and stopped. Item. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ha, not gonna fool with me with your tricks this time, game. Skills, Celeste, Magic, Cure. That zombie status did a lot. Skills, Celeste, Magic. And now I have to reapply float. Right, up, right, up. This actually, this segment, I originally thought it was going to be too short almost to justify being by itself, but I am now seeing that that's definitely not the case. This is definitely long enough to be its own segment. <laughs> Alright, probably made it. That wasn't too long a walk. Now's where I reach the desert, and who knows, maybe I could just get owned in there. I do have a chance of surviving the desert battles. It's not a complete instant death if I, re if I enter one or something. Seven's Aura Bolt does a great deal of damage to the zombie dragon guys. Celeste throwing stuff does a great deal of damage to the seahorse guys, and it's probably something else that I'm too lazy to experiment enough with to figure out, so... That was probably a bad plan on my part. It seems I've made it through the first set of up and lefts without... or left and ups. Without serious incident, which is good. Because if I haven't messed up... Alright, going left next. This is probably a desert battle. Okay, dragon guy, I think. There's only one enemy at any rate because of that entrance. The entrance... I'm going left next. The entrance, I think, can, has to be applied to all enemies in the battle at the same time, so... They'd all splash up if there was more than one. Sandstorm, ouch. Not good but I think they can take it, so no need to panic. There we go. The one enemy in that battle is dead. There, no, that wasn't so bad, no, was it? It's like getting a shot at the doctor's office. These desert battle skills, Celeste, magic... Yeah, I only need one heal after that. I was worried for nothing. The poison enemies around... Uh, I'm going up next. The poison enemies around here were being more dangerous. Now watch, I'm going to eat my words as I die in this battle somehow. Seahorse guys, there's two of them this time. Ouch, no, Sandstorm. As long as they come slowly enough, I can take it, but... Unfortunately, Celeste also can't counter the Sandstorm. I almost took down the double Seahorse battle with Celeste. Oh gosh, they've got Wind Slash too. It's... I don't know if that's more or less powerful. I almost took down one of these double seahorse battles with a lone Celeste, but in my test run a long time ago, that I for some reason did for the one minute segment earlier, where I walk up to Zen. Alright, I was given some time there, so not expecting death there. There we go. Made it. Less magic here. Right, left up, left up, left up, left up, left up, left up. Alright, so now I've hopefully made it over to Nikea. Almost. I just need to go right and up a bit. Moment of truth, have I reached the town? Oh, well, great, thanks. That's what I wanted. Going up next. Unlike the other segment where I was half lazy, half conservative, and not healing between battles, 
That, that one, it's nice that I did that one that way because now I definitely have enough MP to make it in this segment. Take some of the pressure off, I guess. Where is Seven? There he is. Go, Seven, go. That's three enemies down. Too little, too late, buddy. Uh, there's more enemies than I thought, actually. But as long as I didn't mess up anything related to my float, half the time they're just wasting their turns, so... It's not something to complain about. Maybe I miscounted, because I swear there was nothing around here that had six or five enemies in the encounter. I swear four was the max, and I killed like four enemies already. I've still got like eight witches left. Hopefully that'll finish it off, so that I can just have the real moment of truth. There we go. Figures, one step from the town. Okay. Everything's just peachy. Items saved. There we go. That took 26 minutes, so actually an appreciable amount of time. See you next time.